What's up guys, welcome back to our Kingdom Gaming, Richie here today. Uh, as you can see we've got our pack opening here for Tribe Strike. Uh, I've had these packs for a little while now, and uh, I've been waiting to open them up because I wanted to do more research into the game so I knew what things did when we opened them. And I've gotten to do a little bit, but uh, it's been crazy busy and with everything going on with the computer and everything, I haven't done as much as I would like to, but I also didn't want to wait any longer to open these guys, so we're just going to go ahead and get into it. So, there are two sets available right now on the Game Crafter. There was um, set 1, Enter the Tribe, and set 2, which was Killer Parade. Uh, so I went ahead and got one of each to kind of get a look at the game uh, before I got too much deeper into it. So, we're going to go ahead and open up set 1 first. Uh, so set 1, I believe these are 9 card packs. Uh, it comes with 5 commons, 3 uncommons, and then 2 rares or omega rares. Uh, so they're 10 card packs, rather. And then these are 18 cards? Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got in pack 1. Okay. So, first card we've got a Rising Amaterasu, which is from the Legend Tribe. It is a rank 2 monster. Creature, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, oh, and it's an Omega Rare. That's pretty sweet. Um, the uh, symbol up in the top corner, if I remember correctly, is how you determine the rarity. Uh, white is common, blue is uncommon. There might be purple, blue or purple. It looks blue to me. Um, and then yellow is rare, and red is the Omega Rare. So, that's pretty sweet. Got three power, it looks like, and... The ability is Dusk. When it dies, you can deploy a setting Tsukiyomi from your hand to the opposite zone. Not entirely sure what that means, <laughs> um, but that's pretty sweet looking. We've got an Unexpected Growth. This is an Uncommon. Uh, looks like it's a spell card. Yeah. At a rank 2, at 2 rank 0 nature, try warriors from your deck to your hand. Seems really good. Got a Common Blade Spirit, from also from Legend Tribe. Rank 2, Strength 4. Doesn't have an ability, but it does have flavor text. It's pretty cool. Finally launched, which is a spell. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, it has a green rarity, which I'm not entirely sure what that means because I wonder. I guess the rarity system has been updated since this set came out then um, because there's no green rarity in. The video that I watched, so that's interesting. Uh, then we've got a Hungry Cyclops, another blue one. Actually, once we get everything open, we should be able to determine what the rarity are based on the numbers that we got at the front of the pack. So we've got Hungry Cyclops, another legend. We've got a Fortune, which is another spell, both players draw two, seems good. Dreamy Castle, this is a fortress, this is like the, uh, I forget what he called the player's um, persona, I guess. Uh, your life total and everything. Beginning of your turn, you can discard a spell to gain two health. That seems pretty good. We got a necromancy. Add a warrior from your crypt to your hand. So that's the discard pile. Effect spray, another spell. Choose a warrior you control until your next turn. It's immune to spells and abilities except for its own and loses a power. Okay. Okay. Clock tower. This is um, another Omega warrior, I think. It's got the red border, like uh, this one did. 15 health, so it's a fortress. You get four actions on your turns. Actions, I believe, are that's how you play things, if I remember correctly. Um, so I'm assuming that you normally have like three. Not positive, I don't remember. Um, it's been a while since I looked at the videos, but it seems good. And then we've got a Titanic Land Shell from the Nature Tribe. It's a giant tortoise. This giant this warrior counts as two warriors. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so I went ahead and sorted everything out so we can try and figure out what's going on here with the rarities. Um, so the most cards that we got, I believe, are the white ones. We got five of them, so those are definitely the commons, like we thought. Uh, three uncommons. Uh, we had the three blue, so those are the uncommons that we thought they were. And then it says two rares or omega rares. Um, we got two red cards and one green card. 
So we actually got 11 cards in the pack instead of 10. So that's really interesting. I'm a little bit confused by that, but um, we'll take it, I guess. <laughs> All right, and moving on to pack number two. Uh, so in Killer Parade, we get eight commons, five uncommons, three rares or omega rares, and two promo rares. Promo rares. I wonder if that's what the green one was that we got in the last pack then. I guess we'll find out. Let's take a look in here. All right. So it looks like the first card we have is Popstar, uh, which is actually on the pack art. That's pretty cool. And it is a rare. Duet, you can control two spell runes at a time. When it dies, destroy a spell rune you control. Big Pop Tribe. Okay. We've got Twisted Fortune. Another Big Pop Tribe. Funimander's Gift. Interesting. <laughs> Just a barrel. It's interesting, it's got three shield. Huh. It's a spell rune, okay. When it's destroyed with zero durability, then draw three cards. Okay. Power up pill, it's another spell rune. Takes two actions to play, choose a warrior. Till the spell rune ends, the chosen warrior gains one power. Okay. Toxic locust, nature tribe. Got zero power. When he dies, your opponent discards the top card of their deck, takes a damage if the discarded card was a spell. Interesting. Seems good. We've got Berdo. Big another big top tribe. No ability, just flavor text there. Drill Omega. Interesting. This one's white bordered. It's a rare. Space tribe. I kinda I like the look of that guy. Looks like all the Space Tribe are white-bordered. We've got Quantumir. A Belit Mark III. <laughs> okay. I wonder if that's what this guy is up here on the first pack. This must be the uh, third version of it, the Space Tribe. We've got a Battery Cannon Spell Rune. Oh, this card's upside down. Uh, the, the rest of the cards in the pack are upside down. That's interesting. So we've got Fairy Dragon. Can't be killed during your turn. Interesting. Ice Cream Prison. Spell Rune. <laughs> a Roly Poly. Living Cyclone. Got a Plasma Orb. It's another one of those green cards. And Dueling Dragons. Let me sort these out real quick and then we'll figure out what's what in this set. Okay. So what is definitely the common, like we thought... Just double checking, and then we've got the uncommons, which uh, on these packs it actually looks more purple than blue, although on the camera it looks more blue to me. Then we've got three rares, which are the yellow cards. Um, so yellow is definitely regular rare, red is omega rare, and then the green are the promos. Um, so it looks like we got some really good stuff in the first set then. We've got two omega rares, which is kind of crazy. Um, and then we got that promo, which was weird that it didn't say that on the pack, but that's still pretty cool. So all in all, we ended up with um, three regular rares, two Omega rares, and three promos, which all look pretty sweet. I really like this clock tower. I don't know if it's great or not, but I really like it, so that's pretty sweet. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop that like, comment uh, down in the bottom, and subscribe for more action. Uh, head over to TCG Strikers channel, check out uh, more Tribe Strike videos, uh, show him some love. Uh, the game looks interesting. Again, I don't know that much about the game yet. I've been doing a little bit of research on it, but I've been so busy that uh, I really just wanted to get these packs open for you guys. And if you guys know me, you know I love to open packs, and it's really hard to just sit there and look at sealed product and not open it. Uh, that's going to be it for our Tribe Strike opening. And until next time, guys, take it easy.